mean, uh, I cal- I like I calculated my marks from the answer key and all like a few days ago. So I was expecting a good rank. Like uh, my teachers told me I would be getting a top ten rank. So yeah. I did have a good. I did have high expectations, and rank five was definitely a lot. Uh, like um, I've always like wanted to be a physicist. Like uh, it's been my like childhood dream to be honest. And uh, so like. when i was researching my options and how i could get there i figured out that within india like iits are probably one of my best choices yeah. to get, to get there being one of the best institutes in the country yeah. for the same so i decided to start preparing for je advanced and uh, i had aptitude for all three subjects physics chemistry and math so uh, it was all the more reason so like i started reading some books like some extra books earlier like around uh, Second half of eighth grade and uh, my ninth grade, I joined Fiji and then uh, in, I through Fiji I started uh, my preparation mainly a proper J advanced preparation. So like um, again over time again uh, in between I sometimes I get exhausted from preparation for a while. So I uh, so like normally my my schedule was like I'd study around. Uh, Six to seven hours, like early on, and uh, late, later on, I start. I raise the bar to around ten uh, to eleven hours a day, uh, like last year mainly. So, like in this, I sometimes get exhausted in between. So, I'd take a one day break of sorts where I'd study like only uh, three or four hours instead, and uh, the subsequent days I study normally. You know, a peer group almost naturally gets built. Like you find people of like interest. Like again, again, as I said, I joined Fiji, so uh, naturally most of my batch batchmates became my uh, peer group. They were they had like-minded interests, and also it was easy enough. So they became my friends, and we were like we had a peer group of common interests, and we could discuss matters related related to preparation and all. Maybe there was a little bit of difference in skill level somewhere. Like. Some sub some sub uh, some topics others were a little more proficient than me. Some topics I was a little more proficient. But overall, I felt uh, there was something we could yeah. learn from each other. So uh, that um, I'd say that there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, my teachers were definitely a big part of it. Mm-hmm. So were my parents. They supported me a lot in my preparation. And uh, apart from that, uh, yes, I'd say that's the those were the primary things. Then they gave me the right material. They like. They told they helped me clear my doubts and all my teachers. So I'd say that my teachers were definitely one of the most important parts. So like my primary, like primarily, like for mathematics, let's say I uh, was referring uh, books by G. Tewani. Then um, apart from that, uh, for physics, I was referring to I was solving books written by B. M. Sharma. And apart from that. Uh, I also uh, intended to do the physics Olympiad, so I was also solving I E Rod of uh, side by side, and uh, yes, that was mainly it. Apart from H C Varma, also I used to read that for theory, and uh, apart from that, uh, for chemistry though, uh, I used a few books for practice. Like um, N Avasti was good for physical chemistry, and uh, for organic chemistry, I primarily used Himanshu Pandey, and. Um, Yes. Again, I for theory I primarily stuck to my class notes, and uh, NCERT two was important for chemistry. There are many different books, all with their their strengths and weaknesses. You just have to find what works best for you. And some recreational activities were definitely needed. So, like um, earlier, I used to like play football with my friends sometimes, and I'd listen to music a lot. And um, yes, that was mainly what I used to do. Sometimes I watch a movie with my family once in a while, maybe. That was mainly what I studied. Uh, my favorite, I'd say, was physics. I've always um, physics has always been my favorite subject. I've been very um, um, I don't know. It's hard to finger it. I'd say um, maybe when I started reading uh, Resnick Halliday, I was there's a book written by Resnick and Halliday. Uh, it's a pretty famous book. I I was really interested by that book, and uh, I started searching further and deeper, and I figured out this is definitely what I want to do. Is definitely my favorite. I uh, I also like them a lot. They're also like my favorite. I'd also say that they were, I also enjoyed them a lot. You know, it, it helps a lot. Like uh, when you um, over time, when you are just studying a concept, J.E. Advanced requires a lot of uh, 
uh, it requires you to grind concepts for a long time and practice large numbers of questions on them. So it can eventually over time one may start losing interest in these subjects. So like browsing some additional content for, for, for a little while every now and then can help rekindle an interest in the subject. And it can also, uh, sometimes it can give you some useful tricks that can actually come in handy during the exam. So again, as I said, it's a very, very uh, long game. So four years is a pretty long time to maintain a consistent level of preparation. So there was always that issue. And apart from that, uh, again, I didn't have any major issues as per se. Like I had a, like I was fortunate enough to not have any major problems during my uh, preparation. And apart from that, again, there were like, and again, there were several other uh, sci there were several other uh, examinations that were also targeting side by side, like um, Olympiads, KBPY, NTSC, etc. So I had to prepare for them also, and also I had to give up sometimes for boards as well. And of course, then there was the pandemic situation the past yeah. few months that uh, postponed the exam for quite some time, and uh, it was pr pretty challenging to keep up during that time. Like uh, two weeks before my exam actually was the time I started uh, reducing my uh, study hours primarily to reduce the stress and pressure. It was actually fairly important at the time. So I was like, I was taking a, I was taking a mock test every day. Uh, so that was like six hours of uh, mock test every day, followed by around one or two hours of one or two hours of review. So, and apart from that, at most like half an hour or more of revision of any concept I feel I needed so I wasn't doing anything more than that no actually I mean I've, I've been preparing for four years so I mean I figured if I couldn't do it in the past four years this I'd hardly be able to do it in the next two weeks right so I'd say I was very well prepared that primarily uh, that was very helpful like um, I didn't like face any particular topic as such at the end where I felt like oh this is not something I haven't done very well so that's one thing and uh, apart from that again as i said i mean it boils down to this if you're well prepared you won't be very well stressed very stressed out in the, end. the day before the exam actually i uh, did not study at all like i talked to my teachers and uh, they they told me to do this like um, i just like i took maybe i took an hour in the morning but then i realized that this doesn't really have any point so i uh, left it there because again as i said it's what applied to the last two weeks applies several times more to the last day. If you couldn't do it in the past years, you couldn't yeah. do it today. I, uh, I, went, I went for a walk actually and um, I listened to music for a long time and um, also spent a while reading an old book. Um, yes, that's it. Uh, I would uh, give a lot of credit to my parents here. Like they took very good care, they took care of me a lot and uh, they ensured that I take care of myself, I'd say that. They really took care of me this time and um, again as I said I mean, you can't study 24 hours a day and in the rest of the time it sort of came to, like again if you if I feel that something's wrong I deal with it it's, that, it's like that like I was feeling I need some more exercise I just go for a walk or cycling or something like that and uh, I talked to friends a lot to like um, to deal with mental health issues like um, it was it was nice like or all your friends are doing the same thing as you so they can relate to your problems and you can discuss it with them. Eventually they can give you advice on how you can deal with your problems. It's, uh, it's a good way to deal with it. So uh, again, uh, my part uh, is something I started using more towards the end. Like I was using it a little sometimes before, but it was primarily towards the end when I started doing a lot of mock tests on my part. Like in the last two weeks, I was primarily practicing my uh, my part uh, mock tests and I felt the mock tests were really good. Like um, the question difficulties were good, and uh, like then uh, after test review of questions, like it was one thing I found nice was that uh, solutions were given to questions. So like um, again, every test has some error here or there. Like sometimes it, errors can't be avoided. Every test series has one or two errors there. The fact that solutions are given makes it really easy to uh, figure out. What, what mistakes am I making? What when is it not my mistake, and when is there an error in the paper, etc. And uh, apart from that, um, yes, I'd say that mock tests were primarily what I did on my part. One uh, basic thing that one must keep in mind is, if you don't uh, get stuck up on a question, like you have to do this only, then then only you can move on. Like um, if you're not 
doing a question if you can't figure out a question it's best to move on because odds are that others are struggling with it as much as you are and likely more so getting stuck on the question is not going to help it's best to keep moving and eventually when you come back it's possible you might solve it and again uh, just because you're skipping like one question two three questions like it actually not become a point for like uh, i don't think that this is doing well because again as i said difficulty is uh, the more important thing is relative difficulty and um, it's very likely that uh, others are struggling more with the paper than you so you have to keep that in mind while going through the paper and not and to not let any uh, such difficult question go to your mind and apart from that one very important point i'd like to say here is that after paper 1 it is uh, like i uh, strongly rec- advise that you do not discuss the paper with anybody because in this time uh, you start getting all sorts of thoughts like um, okay. if like if there's any one question you are unsure of you could your mind will get stuck on that question and you'll start thinking it over and over again and that one mistake you may have made will start looking like 10 mistakes and that is the kind of thing that will add pressure for second paper and it's very likely that you'll mess up the second paper under pressure so you should not at any cost discuss the paper after paper one so right now i'm still uh, thinking i'm still juggling between a, uh, two, a, a, a few branches so i'm still thinking that to be honest um, I, i intend to go to iit bombay for now uh, i'm still thinking but i haven't really finally decided what stream i'm taking first thing i like to point out is that again it might be a difficult exam but in, at the end of the day it's an exam and it's just people like you and i who clear these exams so it's not something that you should fear it's something that you should you should keep your mind calm and you should remain focused and it's not something that impossible like you can do this you just believe in yourself keep preparing and remain consistent and you can and will do this something i like to say